Black Haw is your first cap refoliaceae. Mad cap horse. Remember that? Okay, that means it's opposite. And in the case of Black Haw, it's ridiculously opposite. It's got so many opposite twigs that even on dead pieces, look at this, dead stubs all over it that are still opposite. And if you guys look up right here, you'll see all the opposite twigs all over the branch and opposite leaves. And then I'm going to show you a small one too. So this is your first one. So it's all the Caprifoliaceae are shrubs. And this is really, really a big one here, right? Uh, two things I want to show you on this is one, the bark, it gets a very, very fine blocky pattern. Sort of like dogwood, but if you took dogwood and divided it in fours again, you'd have that. So very fine. And then this has fruit, and I want to show you the fruit. It's right up here above our heads. See those berries hanging down? Mm -hmm. is, those will turn black when ripe. And they occur in a loose clump like that. And they, uh, they're about the size of a raisin, and they sort of have the same taste as a raisin or a prune. Like that syrupy, sweet, black. They yeah, they are edible. It's mostly a big pit, but the, but the slight bit of meat on there is that syrupy kind of prune thing. And uh, they're, they're good for you, and they, if you eat enough of them, they'll have the same effect as a prune. <laughs> Uh, so if you, if you have a headache, take willow bark. If you have another certain problem, eat a lot of black haw fruits and it might help you. So if you can get that many. But uh, birds really, really like them too. And they eat them and then, of course, that's how the seeds get spread all over. Okay. Now I'll show you one where you can get your hands on the twigs and all. Because the twigs get so many little opposite side branches. You know in the cartoons, when the cat's pulling, you know, stuff out of the garbage they always have the cat pull out the fish skeleton you know how the ribs come out that's what the twigs will look like it, it looks like a fish skeleton twig there's so many little opposite branches those look like ribs on the cartoon fish skeleton <laughs> so there's some things to look at on this one the leaf we can get our hands on that for a while this will work more but then the leaves are going to turn red but right now just the petiole is red it's red all summer. The leaf is green, but the petiole's red. The whole thing's gonna turn red and then fall off. <laughs> but right now that'll work. There's your blocky little bark. Okay. And the bud is valvate. It's very little. What's valvate mean? Okay, yeah. You have one that's a duckbill. Valvate means two bud scales. And tulip poplar is like this. But valvate just means two bud scales. This doesn't have a duckbill bud, but it has two scales that are like that, two fingers. And it's just a little pointy small bud. And if you look close or look at pictures on your DVD, it, you'll see a line down the middle. Uh, that, that's the valvate part, okay? And they're all shrubs. All Caprifoliaceae are shrubs, the whole community of them. Who's ever heard of a viburnum? This is in the viburnum genus, and there's all kind of ornamental viburnums all over every campus and town. They, they're not all native, but this is a native viburnum. So many of viburnums are used as ornamental plants. There's a very pretty clump of flowers in the spring that form those fruits.